Five athletes signed their letters of intent last week. We'll have the details next. Also on the broadcast, we'll have your weather report and sports updates. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News, powered by the NFHS Network. Hello, Florida State High School. I'm Madison Hansen. Today is National Spicy Guacamole Dip Day. Call your friends, get the chips ready, and celebrate with a bowl of spicy guacamole dip. And I'm Kelsey Stobar. Today is Monday, November 14, 2016, and here are today's news and announcements. November 10th saw five Indian athletes sign their letters of intent to play collegiate sports. Ali Barrett signed to pole vault for Emporia State University. Keegan Lambring signed to play soccer for Culver Stockton College. Elias Bowiefi signed to wrestle for South Dakota State University. Taylor Vaughn signed to play softball for State Fair Community College. And Paige Hayden signed to play softball for McKendry University. You can see the full signing ceremony on demand at nfhsnetwork.com on Florida Sage with the school's website. Want to hear a coach sing? All this week you can help make it happen. It's really simple. Bring money to school to put in your favorite coach's tip jar. During your lunch shift, the coach that raises the most amount of money gets to sing with a touch of class at the next assembly. Proceeds help support the choir program. Now it's time for today's weather report with Cassandra Ritchie. How's it looking out there, Cassandra? It's looking good out there today, Kelsey. Today's current conditions are going to be 49 and sunny. Today it's going to warm up a little bit and be 67, but still sunny outside. Tonight it's going to cool down a little bit and be 44. And then tomorrow it's going to be bright and sunny and be 71. So now we're going to move on to your radar. And it looks like we have quite a few, quite a few cloud coverage coming in from up there. So now... We're going to move on to your five-day forecast. And it looks like we're going to be mostly sunny and in the 70s throughout the rest of this week and into next week. So that's all we have for your weather. Now here's sports. Culver's welcomes you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of options they have to offer, from strawberry shakes and root beer floats to grilled sandwiches and crispy chicken to be prepared by their friendly staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with their fresh frozen custards and butter burgers. Come into Culver's or pick up some carry out and let them serve you. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Welcome back. Choir student Megan Hall advanced to the state site sign singing bee at Tantara during the MMEA convention this January. She was selected for her outstanding site singing score during the KC Metro All District auditions in October. Megan is the first student from FOHS to be chosen for this honor. The district saluted area veterans on Veterans Day in the high school's PAC. Eleven veterans were presented with medals of appreciation as they crossed the stage. Students from high school also listened to guest speakers Adam and Ann Siminski talk about their experience about both of a, a member of the military and the spouse of a soldier. The district thanks all who were serving and who have served our country in the military. Brianna Reeve joins us now for today's sports report, and there is not much going on except practice, right, Brianna? Practice and conditioning for off-season athletes, Kelsey. I'll have the details after this message. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Hey everybody, I'm Brianna Reeve with today's sports report. Any student interested in off-season conditioning for any sport can train with Coach Snead after school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 2.40 to 3.45. Students will meet in the PAC lobby and then move to different locations as needed. If you have any questions, you can email Coach Snead at jsneed at photosage.net. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar for the girls' varsity basketball team, will tune up for the season by hosting a jamboree at the school on November 16th. Other schools attending will be Kearney, Lee Summit North, and Pleasant Hill. 
Games start in both gyms at 5.30. That's it for sports. I'm Brianna Reed. Thanks, Brianna. On this day in history, in 1969, Apollo 12, the second manned lunar expedition, was launched. Today's ACT word, of the, ACT word of the day is lift, which means bending easily and, care, and gracefully. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. For all of us at KFOI Daily News and the NFHS Network, have a great day, Indians.